What's good YouTube, it's your boy Nick Wavy. I'm back with a new video. Now, today's morning. What time is it right now? Let me give you guys the exact time. 9.40, I've been up since about like 8.30. Now, I'm just laying down, but every time I lay down and I don't get up, I get more and more tired, but I can't fall asleep. And then I wake up, when I actually get up, I feel super tired, so whenever I wake up, I'm just like, all right, I'm up. So, it's breakfast time. I'm eating, this is called a scone, okay? If anybody's from the UK, that's called a scone. I know I posted that on my Instagram and people said I was eating balls of mildew and mold. People were dissing. And I got my three eggs and I'm about to cook up. You know, let me know if you guys want me to start a cooking channel because yeah, I know what, I can, I can throw it down. I can throw it down. Okay. That's a little too much oil, but it's all good. And then, you know, you want to stir it around a bit. Get it all around the pot. That's too much oil, I can't lie. And it wasn't, the pot wasn't hot enough. The pan wasn't hot enough either, so. Yo, I'm just, I'm messing up. I'm messing up. You know, everybody makes mistakes. It's okay. So, I'm just gonna let this harden a little bit, then I'm gonna start scrambling it up. Today, we're going to the gym. I'm gonna give you guys a fitness update. I know it's been a long time since I've done a fitness update, and I haven't even really been in the gym. Like, I look like one of those guys that used to work out heavy, but, you know, stopped, and then they got skinny. That's kind of what I'm at right now. I still weigh the same, but I don't eat as much, which is pretty good for my pockets. I only eat like three times a day, but today I'm just going to give you, I'm just trying to give you guys the updates on everything that's been going on. So fitness has been, you know, pretty key in my life. So I want to make sure I give you guys an update on that. I'm going to do, um, I don't know if I'll do back today. I should do back or I might just do like an all body. I'll see, but I'm going to bring you guys with me. We're going to work out and then we're going to see what goes on today. So right now I'm cooking. If you guys want to play. Just let me know. I'm charging $5 at the door, ladies free, till all day. So pull up on me. I'm gonna show you guys how this looks when it's done. I just wanna say, make this clear. If you guys aren't putting ketchup on your eggs, are you really eating eggs? Uh, look at that. Everybody on my IG talks crazy about me when I put ketchup on my eggs, but how are you supposed to eat eggs with no ketchup? blows my mind bro yo let me know what you guys think in the comments man i'm gonna open up a restaurant called wavy's restaurante okay let me know if you guys are pulling up all right you guys so this is the spin room i'm about to do a little warm-up right now um actually i should go on the treadmill and stretch but i recently started biking i became a fan and it's different you know because i haven't really done it before so i'm gonna bike for like five six minutes warm up and I might go on the treadmill for maybe like five minutes, stretch my arms and my shoulders, and then I'm gonna get into a back workout. So, let's do it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna give you the walkthrough of my workout, uh, my back day. Today, uh, I started out with the bike. I haven't really done cardio in a while, and I haven't played basketball in a while. There's a point in time where I was actually on the treadmill for maybe like 10 minutes a day. Did I see results? Uh, you know, I guess, like my endurance got better. Anyways, uh, we hopped on the pull-ups here. I do about three sets just as a warm-up. Now that I'm 235 pounds, it's a lot harder to do pull-ups compared to when I was like 200 pounds. It's actually a challenge, it's pretty hard. I think here I only did like seven reps or six reps. But you can still see my shoulders are still pretty, they're huge. Like that's definitely my strong body part that you know it's just dominant in my shoulders so it's easy for me to make shoulder gains uh this is an exercise i seen my boy rome doing if you guys remember the bodybuilder i used to work out with i seen him doing this and this activates my lats and kind of like my upper back kind of rear delt area uh i put the seat on like an incline put my knee on it and i kind of drag the weight and when i bring the weight back down i don't let go of my lat activation you know i could let it go and drop my shoulder but I don't drop my shoulder, I keep my lat stretched, and I just stretch my lat, and I pull it back. So I think I did four sets of that, 12 reps each, 
it's pretty good. Um, I felt it. I was doing it every day for about two days, and I felt the pain after, which is good. Because I'm at the stage now where I don't feel sore the next day, and I feel like if I don't feel sore, I didn't have a good workout. You know, so I was actually in the gym yesterday, and I was doing bench press. I was benching two plates easy, and then I went two plates and a 25 on top. I think it was like 275. And it was good, so I hit my one set and it was good, but then I did a drop set. So I took off the 25s and I hit it again and that crushed me, you know. That's where I really felt my muscles start to tear and I really made gains. So from now on, I think I'm gonna start doing drop sets only. My body can handle it and that's all I need to do now to grow. Doing normal workouts is just, I don't feel it. So I did the lat pull down here. I think I did two grips. I did wide grip and I did close grip. Usually if I have a tight back, like my upper back, I can feel this in knots. I'll do the underhand grip and I'll just feel everything crack and stretch out. Makes me feel a lot better. But I don't like this lat machine, like the positioning is weird. I can't really get a full stretch as you can see. I mean, I could put the seat lower, but then my the thing that goes on your, your thighs, it doesn't really go lower. So it's kind of a restricted machine. And like I said earlier, like I don't like doing back workouts in my gym because the equipment just isn't enough. Like I could do barbell rows, but that's the one exercise that popped my back like a, like two years ago. That's what ruined my back. So it doesn't really affect me. I don't really feel it, you know, so I try and avoid it. So here I was just doing dumbbell. Um, I don't even know what you would call this dumbbell seated dumbbell rows. Um, it's not bad. Again, I would like to have the seat lower because here I'm using my rear delts a little bit too much. Whereas if my seat was an angle lower, I'll be able to feel it more directly in my lats, but it's not high enough. So like if I put it lower, I'm not gonna be able to drop the weight, which will give me the full lat stretch, you know? So I gotta work with what I got, you know? I can't be too picky. I, the gym cost me $0 a month, you know, it comes in my crib. So yeah, after this, I just wanted an extra pump, so I just hit the bench press. I think I hit bench press like three times a week now. So whenever I have a chance, and then I had a spotter in here, so then after that I put the 25s on top, and then I pushed it, and that's how I got stronger, because before I couldn't do two plates, then me and my boy, he, I just had a spot, and then he helped me push my way up, and now I'm strong enough to do it myself. So that is my workout. Um, let's continue the rest of the video. All right, you guys, so that was today's workout. I think it only lasted like an hour. I wanna show you guys. Um, not bad. I think for me, like I just need to go heavy because I can push the weight. Sometimes I just need a spot. I eat a lot. Um, I definitely cleaned up my diet. I don't eat pizza anymore, but I do eat a lot of, I would say I'm well fed a lot. So I eat a lot of carbs, not even a lot. Like I'm not even eating to the point where I'm going to see mad gains where I'm going to, where I'm really going to grow. I'm kind of just maintaining. So you can still see, this is the look that I like. I like having the swole. There's only so much exercises I can do. Oh, I can do in the gym for a back day. I don't like doing barbell rows. For me, it just doesn't, I feel like it doesn't target my back as much as I would like it to. So that's why I don't hit it as much. And I had, I feel like I have a herniated disc. My lower back I popped it like maybe two years ago. It hasn't been the same, so I gotta be careful with the exercises I do. But I, I started strengthening my glutes and working on my lower back, so I've definitely seen it get stronger. I just finished my workout, I'm kinda out of breath, so. Yeah, I'm about to eat right now, I'm gonna shower, and I'm gonna show you guys my after post-workout meal. I'm gonna have rice, chicken, and beans. That'll be my third meal of the day, but that's the second time I had rice today. So, yeah, the video I shot in the intro, I shot that like two weeks ago. Whenever I uploaded my first video back, that was when I shot that video. So this is like two weeks later. So I kind of been, in, I'm back in the gym. Last week I went hard and I made gains. Today was my first day back after three days. So yeah, trying to get back into it. But as you can see, like recording the videos in that gym, it's not necessarily the best because of the lighting. And you know, I'm gonna probably need someone to record for me if I were to do gym videos. But yeah, I'm, I can get it in there, you know. Let me go eat, I'm hungry as hell. All right, you guys, so this is my post-workout. I got, I don't know how much grams of chicken because I don't weigh my food because I don't track my macros. I just eat what I want. I don't take fitness that serious as of yet. But I got 
I bought a cup of rice. I got some chicken breasts and I got some beans. So I got quite a bit of beans in here and I got a protein shake. And I just put it in a bowl, add some hummus on top and that's what I eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna try and find a way to make fitness videos if you guys want me to. Uh, I'm not too sure if I wanna do it on my main channel or switch over to Wavy Gains. I really don't know. Post a comment down below, let me know what you think I should do. Cause I could keep Nick Wavy like pranks, maybe vlogs here and there, and wave videos, because I do have wavy gains, which could be specifically fitness, you know? And it might be more organized that way, but then again, I have 250K on Nick Wavy, and like 3,000 on wavy gains, so, I don't know, post in the comments, let me know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have a video coming out just now, very soon, and I appreciate the support. Make sure you guys like, post a comment down below, talk to me, hit the subscribe button if you have yet to subscribe. I'm gonna talk to you guys soon.